So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Pad channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe and also enjoying this lockdown. Well, this is a jokes apart. So what we're going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about the list of most important and easiest topics in JE Main's paper 2A that is for the B arc. So we are going to discuss all the information about this topic. Just a small request. Please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video is going to be really informative. Let's start. So now let me tell you the topics that we are going to cover in the next 10 minute slots. So what we'll do, we'll briefly start with discussing about the syllabus of this paper, right? We'll discuss about the syllabus first and then we will move on and discuss about the analysis of the last year paper. This analysis will really help you out in the sense like what type of questions are asked and from which topic and like what will be the difficulty level, right? So we're going to discuss that analysis thing in the second aspect here. Then we'll move on and discuss about the section wise weightage. Section wise weightage is very important because this will give you a hint how you're going to prepare. What will be your input and output approach? Input and output approach as in, like suppose if you're investing X amount of energy to particular topic and in return you're getting Y amount of output. Now that X and Y inequality, X and Y equality, we are going to discuss. And from here on, we are going to start about the preparation strategy. We'll move on and discuss about the preparation strategy in detail. And finally, we'll discuss about the do's and don't about this paper. Again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any queries, any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's start. So now let's start with discussing about the syllabus of J means paper to BR. So I'll first start with discussing about the major paper here, which is the mathematics. So the mathematics section consists of complex number, matrices and determinant, quadratic equation, sets, relation and functions, then permutation and combination, then mathematical induction, then mathematical reasoning, integral calculus, limits, continuity and differentiability, 3D geometry, this is the main part here, then binomial theorem and its application, then finally differential equations, sequences and series, coordinate geometry, vector algebra, trigonometry and statistics and probability. So you must have seen right here that the major portion is from class 11th and class 11th is not too tough you can easily bear off this part right again we're going to discuss everything in detail this is just about this section this is just about the syllabus now let's move on and discuss about the other paper details like j means paper 2 aptitude test syllabus 2021 so here i have divided into the two parts the first part comprises of awareness of persons place building and materials then visualizing 3d 3d geometry basically it is just like you're just visualizing 3d from the 2d okay then visualizing different sides of 3d objects objects textures related to architecture building environment analytical reasoning and then mental levality which is consists of visual numerical and verbal so this is the part one and if I just go on and discuss about the part two, part two is all about the 3D part, right, which consists of 3D perception, understanding and appreciation of scale and proportion of objects, color texture, harmony, contrast, building forms and elements, shapes and forms, sketching of scenes, activities, forms of memories and street scenes, monuments, market, festival, recreational spaces, landscape and rural life and few more, right? So this is about just related to the 3D part. Hence, the first part consists consist of major your aptitude part and the second part consists of majorly your 3D part. All right. Now let's discuss about the third part, which is the drawing syllabus. Now drawing syllabus is typically consisting of design and drawing of geometrical or abstract shapes and patterns in pencils then it, and the second part is transformation of forms that must mean both which is 2d and 3d union rotation subtraction and development of volumes and surface areas and then finally generation of planes elevations and 3d vectors and views of the objects sketching of activities from memory of urban scenes and finally development of surface and volume so this is just about the drawing part again in the drawing part there are majorly two questions right 50 marks each so i believe you must be aware of the pattern right if you don't are not aware of this pattern tell me i'll just prepare another video for that so this is majorly about the syllabus part now before i move on and discuss about the other aspect let me announce a very important part here now this is for the nri students so for the nri students we have prepared an nri book that is related to dasncwg you can download it from the link in the description below so this is particularly for the nris and we have a compiled set of nri books that will really help about the preparation okay now let's move on and discuss about the analysis which is the main and key aspect here so as per the experts from the last year data which is 2020 paper 2 which was uh, just conducted on september 1 2020 
In the mathematics, it says that the difficulty level of mathematics section was easy to moderate. It was from easy to moderate, no tough questions. Now that depends upon your mindset. To which mindset you are going in and just giving the examination. Are you targeting moderate questions first or are you targeting tough questions first and then the easiest one? Don't do that. I'll tell you the preparation strategy too, don't worry. So the difficulty level in mathematics ranges from moderate. This is just like easy to moderate or moderate to easy, okay? And one more thing that numerical based questions, right? There's a numerical based question that was lengthy. Yes, that was lengthy as comparison to the January session of the same paper as questions involved calculation. So there was much calculation in that part. Okay. And it has been seen that the major questions were from coordinate geometry. Of course, that is a 3D and calculus. So this is about the mathematics. Just making a brief here that questions ranges from easy to moderate. Numerical questions involve much calculation and majorly questions were from calculus and 3D. Okay, then the aptitude test in the aptitude test. This was quite simple quite easy that depends upon your mindset How you're going to approach that paper? So that was fairly easy and in the drawing section It says that the difficulty level of this section was easy. So this was easy again One question involved drawing and aesthetic composition using rectangles and the other words on the highway scene or portrait of your favorite teacher So this is the drawing part and because this is like a handwritten right you have to draw using your hand This is not an online so you can easily manage this part. So if I just brief about the last year paper, it was fairly easy. If you're targeting BR from the top colleges, definitely IITs or NITs or SPAs, then you could have cracked. All right. Now, let me tell you about this section wise weightage. This paper, which is the architecture paper, comprises majorly of the 3D part. I'll show you here. It says that the coordinate geometry, which is the main aspect here, this comprises of 17%. Now, this is J means, right? So the more or less the questions in J means paper one, paper two, and paper three in mathematics remains same. In paper two and paper three, this is going to be almost same. And in the paper one and paper two and paper three, this is going to be almost same, okay? Like just a difference of two, three percent. You cannot say that is a difference. In the coordinate geometry, this was 17%. 17% questions were asked from this coordinate geometry. Then the next comes was the differential equations, differential calculus essentially, which was 17%. And then integral calculus. So there are two parts, calculus in which there is integral and then there is differential. You can just take it as differentiation, application of differentiation, integration, application of integration. So that whole comprise of 31%. But again, the weightage more is given on this 3D part, which is the coordinate geometry. Because in calculation, what happens is that, I'm just briefly telling you about the strategy too, is that in the calculus, there are much work that you have to do. There is much calculation. If you're not knowing the shortcuts, if you're not knowing the formulas, the types, that is going to kill most of your time in the examination. But on the contrary, in the coordinate geometry and the 3D, there are formulas, there are shortcuts. So that requires less time. And in the less number of times, you can solve, you know, more number of questions, less time, more questions. So one thing is very clear that this coordinate geometry is just like you invest less energy and you get high output. So low input, high output is coordinate. And then the next comes is the calculus part, which is just like you have to invest energy. This is not like low input. So moderate input and then the output is of course high. Then there is matrices and determinant. So I'll tell you matrices and determinant, which is part is actually the algebra part. This is one of the easiest part in class 12th, right? You guys must be knowing this thing, which comprises of 7%. So this is just like for in our list, this is low input and high output. Again, 7% is not less. 7% is somewhere around, you can expect two to three questions from this matrices and determinant. That will just like making your day or breaking your day, right? So this is important. Matrices and determinant is again an important topic. Sequences and series again important because in that there is formulas in that there are shortcuts, right? If you just hit those formulas or those calculus with essentially those things like, you can easily solve these questions, right? Trigonometry is again based on formula concept, which is 7%. So you see this is from 17 to 7%. So from 17 to 7%, which comprise of coordinate geometry, differential and integral calculus, matrix and determinant, sequences and series and trigonometry. These are important topics. These are essentially requires medium or low input. And in return, you're getting high output more or less. Then after that point of time, there are quadratic equations, probability, permutation, combination, mathematical reasoning, statistics, algebra, binomial, and complex. These are three, three percentage. So not, you know, just like not, you're getting not much high output from these topics. So now there are many students 
who thinks or who says that I'm expert, I'm you know like a pro in binomial theorem or logarithm or complex number. So I'll just hit those questions first in the examination. Don't go with that mindset. Please don't go with that mindset because ultimately your main main goal is just to clear maximum number of questions correctly, right? Or with a higher accuracy. This is not about solving complex number and you're getting higher number, right? This is not about that. So majorly there are three four topics that you have to keep in mind while you are practicing. So these are the easiest topic. in the mathematics now in the aptitude now aptitude is basically comprises of your mindset how you are going to approach so again in here there is the major aspect which is the 3d so 3d comprises of major aspect so in the 3d part prepare well that will cover your mathematics and aptitude so 3d will cover both this part and apart from that there will be some mental ability questions that is math which normally comprises of like mental ability analytical reasoning and just like uh, visualization or just like simple patterns right decoding those questions so those will not be you know uh, those stuffs because as per the last year data as per the 2020 data that says that expert says that this section is the easiest section right so this is just like you need to solve and if you are stuck in some questions then please leave that question don't spend much time in those questions right again this is the weightage given so you can have a brief about this you just look it and that's all about this part now what will be the major preparation strategy let me tell you let me tell you starting the mathematics so in the mathematics as you can see there are basically two kinds of students one student who love maths another students who hate maths okay this is one thing then there are two other students the one is who is stronger in mathematics the other who is weaker in mathematics so this exam is like for both the students right this is a equal opportunity examination why because those students who are weak in mathematics like in making trigonometry coordinate geometry or miscellaneous then they can start this paper with matrix and determinant first they will practice this questions once they are done then they will move on to the calculus then they will move on to the coordinate and geometry things because those are not so tough if you compare this with logarithm quadratic equation binomial theorem where there are tougher questions so in that if you just compare this topics are fairly easy right also it says that studying this will make sure that you are able to just answer 10 to 12 questions quickly see when you just hit this exam when you just go and just give this exam see just mark those questions or see just overall just view this paper that right? what are the easiest questions or what are the moderate level questions or what are the tougher questions so that you will have a road map road map in the sense that first i'll attempt this question like 1 to 7 in the 1 to 7 there will be three four questions which will be easily done so i'll first attempt those then we'll move on to the next don't do like 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is actually you're killing your life at that point of time okay also there are few miscellaneous topics obviously there will be few miscellaneous topics like height and distance statistics logarithm then please leave that part leave that part as in like just leave those questions that you do in the last right if you have ample time also as the expert says that you start with trigonometry because trigonometry is the easiest topic right because that is full of formula thing and all then move on to coordinate geometry then move on to algebra which is basically matrices and determinant and then hit the calculus so more there are basically four major sections and this four major sections will make your life easier right because after that point of time you'll realize that yes i have done much questions now i am feeling confident okay calculus is hard lengthy as everybody knows this thing that there is much calculation there is just like you are going to invest medium level of input so depends upon you if you are expert if you are so much expert in the calculus if you are practicing this questions every day like in these days then in the examination you will find those questions quite easy this is tougher for those who just know that in this way we solve in this particular type this question belongs to so they will be finding their self really in a tougher situation all right so this is about the mathematics don't worry i'll just sum up this entire thing now let me just move on and tell you about the aptitude so in the aptitude this is quite simple fairly simple this is learning techniques your mindset your mental ability you guys are in class 12 definitely you have passed class 11 then only you move to class 12 so you must have every student must have a you know like a equal equal mental ability concepts things right so you can easily hit this target hit this section and whatever this is like this is more about your aptitude so it will be great if you solve few sudoku or puzzles type questions so that your mind works in a very healthy state all right now about the drawing thing about the drawing thing this is more about the practice this really requires practice 
which much requires observation and analysis. You observe things and then you analyze and then you finally draw. So this is more about that thing. Observe and analysis. Practice freehand drawing. That will be an edge. Also use the hatching method of coloring. This is very important. Remember that drawing is in the architecture is all about designing ideas and not aesthetics. You guys know this thing, right? And however, students with excellent drawing skills have an edge in this section, which is J means BR papers. These are the experts. Uh, they just think these tips. These are the expert tips. So now in the drawing section, practice will make your life easier. Practice, draw practice, practice, observe, practice, analyze. This is going to help a lot in here. All right, so this is about the basic preparation strategy. Now let me just tell you about the do's and don't. In the examination or in the, just like in preparation stage, what you have to do, what you do not have to do, let me tell you. So the planning and strategy is the very important thing. You have to plan everything. This is not like you just hit the exam and then you will be just like lost. Oh my God, what will happen? So this didn't happen, right? So there will be proper planning, there will be proper strategy. How you're going to develop the planning and strategy thing? That will come if you practice those questions, if you practice the last year paper, if you practice some, there are many applications, right? These days there are many applications and that will give you a real-time experience of this examination, the real-time experience. That is the online examination, right? So in that, just there are many students who will just experiment this thing. So I want you to do this thing, that experiment in that what is your score, how you analyze it, how you prepare, how you strategize that to exam. So that is going to be very key aspect here. Also during that time, you also have to manage the time. Manage the time as in you have to just jot down those narrow level questions or easy level questions first and then you have to move on to solve the medium level questions first. See, this is more about like solving more number of questions. This is not about solving the tougher one and you are hitting the exam. No, this is not about that. And that comes if there is a proper time management. So you have to manage the time very well. Also, there are few students. For those students, there will be a random guess that works. But few for those students, there will not be a random guess like thing. There are few students like for those, there are 90% accuracy that happens for them. But there are for few students, there will be only 30 to 50%. So please don't do that. Please don't make random guess. That is the point. Also, read well and check because many a times you read this question incorrect and you solve the solution incorrect, right? So read well. Don't panic. Take your time because three hours is enough. Okay, and then of course, practice makes a man perfect and there should be division of work, division of work like division of topics and then you prepare and then you strategize your examination. So this is basic do's and don't that works in all the examination, which is about this too. So this is all about this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, you have any doubts, any questions, any queries, feel free to ask in the comment section below. That's it. I see you in the coming videos. Till then, stay motivated. Thank you.